Hi, I'm Rachel Feinmark. I am the Manager of Strategic Communications at the Tenement Museum, where I'm an ACLS Public Fellow. I got my PhD from the University of Chicago in 2014, uh, so I've had a lot of time to think about these issues of transitioning from the academic world to the nonprofit sector. I was one of those people who did not think that I was going to leave academia while I was in grad school. I did no preparation for anything outside of a job in the professorate. Um, and this really was my plan B in a lot of ways. And in retrospect, I regret that. I think that I would have been a lot happier and a lot more fulfilled had I had in mind the idea that I might not be in academia by the end of graduate school. And so I'm really encouraged by a lot of these initiatives, a lot of these conversations um, that will help future graduate students to think through these issues uh, before they sort of have to and they're up against a wall. So I was interested in what Jake and Mark said. I thank them both for their thoughtful comments. Uh, the parts that overlapped were the most interesting for me. The idea that there should be some sort of safe space to have these open and honest conversations within graduate programs. And the idea that graduate students and their mentors need to have a more holistic, personal understanding of each other in order to have these conversations. I think it's interesting, first of all, that they both chose these sort of intangible moments of academic culture uh, as, as the focal points to fix. I think that this speaks to the work that the AHA and the MLA are doing in order to create a structure for these experiments, um, outside mentorships and programs to help graduate students think through a variety of careers. But really these last intangible academic culture issues seem to be the last hurdle to really making non-academic jobs feel acceptable um, within our department. So I think that if we're really going to be honest about these not being plan B jobs, the onus falls on both the faculty and the graduate students to create an environment where these aren't conversations that need to happen in a safe space. So Jake and Mark both say there needs to be something carved out to have these conversations. I would encourage them to happen all the time, um, early, often, everywhere, not just in whispered back rooms. And I think it's very important for all students to have these conversations, not just the ones who think they might not want to be in academia or think that they're not cutting it. Um, this tackles the issue of stigma of these sorts of jobs. Everybody should be talking about what it is that they'd like to do. Everybody should be having conversations about what's meaningful for them, why they came to graduate school, what sort of impact that they want to have on the world. This also tackles the issue of having a more holistic relationship with your advisor. When you start to have these conversations, when it's clear that the only endpoint isn't an academic job, you can have more of a discussion on a human level about what you're doing and what drives you. I think that it is the job of the faculty to tackle some of the myths of the academic work culture, um, which would do a lot to, towards allowing students to explore a variety of careers. Um, they need to say it's not just okay to have a non-academic job, but that non-academic jobs can be fulfilling ways to use the skills that students get in graduate school. Uh, there needs to be a wider understanding that academia is not the only outlet for a skilled humanist, and that in fact having humanists and historians in a variety of jobs in a variety of sectors is going to be the thing that keeps the humanities in the public eye um, and keeps people understanding the value of the humanities when we're able to talk to a larger audience. So there needs to be uh, value in these jobs and I think that it's the job of faculty mentors to make it clear that they value these jobs. Graduate mentors also need to counter the culture of academic work, I think both for students who are interested in staying within academia and students who are interested in leaving academia. I think amongst a lot of graduate students there's this feeling that graduate school is the waiting room for an academic job. And I think that that conversation needs to shift. There needs to be more conversation about transferable skills, um, about how graduate school helps to teach analysis and research and communication skills um, using terms that graduate students might not have thought that they could put on their resume. And that's going to help both inside and outside of academia. Uh, the job of the graduate mentor is also to counter the culture of academic suffering. Uh, there needs to be an understanding that it's not true that the only thing worth doing is difficult and sometimes uncomfortable. Uh, in order to encourage graduate students to explore outside jobs, they need to be reassured that if something comes easily to you, that doesn't mean that it's meaningless. 
Uh, they need to be reassured that you don't need to live as somewhere you don't want to live. You don't need to live separate from your partner. You don't need to accept a salary that's not going to allow you to live in order to do meaningful, important work. That it's okay to search for quality of life outside of academia. Um, and inside of academia. There needs to be an understanding amongst both the mentors and the graduate students that this can happen.